Yeah, that's right. A pheasant. Good. So it's on route. Thank you very much. Yeah, bye-bye. What the? Is everything okay? Yeah, why shouldn't it be? Well, I don't know. Your OCD seems to have been flaring up. Is there anything that I can do? Like what? No, there must be something. What's that? Folic acid. Well, we better be going. I think I'm going to walk in. Really? Mm. Clear my head. Your head? Why? Ah, uh, I've got this difficult patient coming in. Well, why didn't you say? I don't want to spoil the weekend. You should have told me. Maybe that's why you've had a flare-up. A problem shared and all that. I'll see you there. Yeah. What on earth do you think you're doing? This is private property. It is one thing climbing over the fence to get your ball, but... Do you want me to tell your mother and father about this? Right, you have five seconds. One, two, three. These are my shoes. Which you gave me two Christmases ago. What are you doing here? Where's Julia? I'm leaving on a jet plane. I do not know when I will be back again. <laughs> a friend of mine from church has invited me to Portugal. No way! Hey, Rob's taking me to Spain. Oh, well, I'm sure the weather will be just as good. So when are you going? Next week. Yeah, me too. It is the only time my friend can get the villa from her daughter. And I bet that that's the only time Rob can get off work. Mrs. Ten, is Jimmy in yet? Uh, unfortunately not, Mr. Bellamy. Let me know as soon as he arrives. Yeah, of course. Uh, so what are we going to do? I don't know. I can still hear you. My camp is leaking water. The one on the ring road. I haven't got another one. So you decided to come and put a tent in Julia's garden? She said I could come any time. Oh, I doubt that. Not everybody's like you. What's that supposed to mean? Not prepared for help. You don't know how wrong you are. So, you and Julia. Why don't you drink your tea, pack up your little home and be on your way? Back to my leaking camp! It's not my problem. No, I thought you were a doctor. I am. And you're saying it's OK to sleep out in the rain. It's your decision. Now, if you don't mind, I have someone coming for lunch. Someone you are trying to impress. I beg your pardon? Game. Indeed. What kind? Pheasant. What time are your guests coming? Guest. One o'clock. <laughs> Cutting it a bit fine. I am not. The bird is fully prepared. And here it is now. Is that it? Well, that's, that's not what I ordered. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to speak to you. About yes. Well, don't expect me to use you again. <laughs> I thought you <coughs> ordered it prepared. So did I. Well, it's not. Oh, you're an expert. That's right. And you need my help. Sorry? Unless you know what you're doing on your own, I'll wash my hands. Or are you too high and mighty to let a homeless man help you? No, of course not. Absolutely not. But not just your hands. All of you. See, the thing is, if Rob cancels now, we'll lose all our money. It's, well, my friend can only get the villa next week. Yeah, but it's her daughter. Surely there's some flexibility. Well, Sergeant Holland should not have booked without consulting you first. No, he shouldn't, but he did. I mean, your friend, can't she arrange for you to go another time? I do not know. Since you have booked your holiday and I am yet to book my flight, you must go. Oh, Winnie, can I call you Winnie? Certainly not. 
You're a star. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask Howard. Oh, Dr. Clay, you are here. Looks like it. You're in this good weekend. Not really. What? Uh, you know. Uh, Mr. Bellamy, sorry to interrupt you. You're not. Uh, I thought Mrs. Hollinge was there. No. Well, no, no matter. Uh, Dr. Clay is here. Thank you. Can you ask him to come and see me? Yeah, of course. Uh, we are not seeing patients just yet. <laughs> Switch the intercom off. Hey, it's a shame we can't take your uniform. You interpol me, Mother Hari. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and book it as soon as you can. I've talked Mrs. Demi round, but I've still got to get the leave signed off. We could see who gets the most patients done, and the loser buys drinks at lunchtime. No, thanks. Go on. I said no. Well, I must say, you look almost respectable. Respectable? That's right. You do know there's going to be blood. Please, take a seat. If anyone wants me, I'll be in with Howard. I thought you saw him earlier. Something came up. I'll go now. D now is not a good time. Excuse me? Nurse Clay is also indisposed. Mr. Price, the healthcare assistant will see you now. Um, oh, two ticks, Mr. Price. Try alternating. Back in a moment. Ah, oh, Mrs. Hollins. Uh, uh, what can I do for you? Well, thing is, it, well, it's brilliant. It's it's one of those last minute spur in the moment things. Hello. Sorry to interrupt. Doctor Clay is in his office. Yes. You said you wanted to see him. I have just sent a patient through. Right. And do you have healthcare assistant Mrs. Hollins with you? Yes. She's needed in reception. I'll send her through. It's not the best time. I need to go out anyway. But um... come back and see me later. Ooh. Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Price. You're trying to stop Howard giving me leave? Because you lied about having booked your holiday. You listened to my private conversation. I did not intend to, but it came on through the intercom. The same intercom that you just used to interrupt Howard. I am not the one to blame here. Really? Ladies, please. Trust me, she is no lady. Likewise. Oh, Mr. Bailey, I would like to oh, ask Howard, before you go. Me when you can, both of you, I'll be in and out all day. Mrs. Tembe, remind Dr. Clay that I still need to see him. Of course. Mr. Price, the health care assistant will see you now. Well, I have to say, extremely impressive. Beach roadkill. Roadkill. Ever eaten fox, badger, squirrel? And twitter. Not a poacher, are you? Never a poacher, nor a beater bee. Indeed. Calvados! Oh, you could make a sous chef. Mochus gratis. Right, now go easy with the Calvados. Oh. I know what an aperitif is. So, where's the cabinet? But you won't be eating with us. Yes, it's up to you. It doesn't have to be a problem. Okay. So, what's going on? Oh, how much dirt, pass and filth can one person take in one day? Not bad, eh? No, since I got in. Jim, is there a problem? I don't know, is there? Well, if you don't tell me, then I can't... <laughs> That's exactly what Jerry said. You don't mean talking, have you? <laughs> Anything you uh, want to get off your chest? Oh. Yep. Uh, Dr. Clay, Mr. Bellamy says he will see you later. Uh, shall I send yeah. in your next patient? Yeah, I'm ready. Jocasta, please come through. Thank you so much. Oh, what a lovely place. Thank you. How is Arthur? Hoping to see you again soon. And I him. Aperitif? Nothing. It's a crisp fino, bone dry. <sighs> to the Symphonia. I've had my eye on you since your days as a surgeon. Alas, I was always very busy. 
And now you're not? A keener sense of priority. And not just for access to the best tickets in Lethbridge. How on earth did you get them? At a price. Well, it's a price that I'm more than willing to pay, knowing that the premium is going to a very worthy cause. Hmm. But that's not the only reason you want to get involved with the charity. Oh, of course not. Because there's far more to it than just giving money, coming to the charity gala. Absolutely. Have you any idea who you would bring with you? If the committee were to approve you. Well, I'm sure there'd be no shortage of companions jumping at the chance of hearing the finest soprano of her generation and, and wanting to give their services to charitable causes, as I intend to do. But would you be prepared to make sacrifices? Of course. Uh, oh, excuse me. My calculations are correct. Aha, yes. Caught. It's just that you have to convince the committee you have good works in your heart. I do. Giving a child a new start, sheltering a battered mother, homing the homeless. Which is exactly what I intend to do. Which is why I have one in my garden. Checking out the talent. Hmm? Just take him. Don't let that stop you. Shall we uh, order some food? Seriously? That's what we're here for, isn't it? Cozy drink for mates. Yeah, sounds good to me. I know. I know about you and Cherry. Knock, knock. Do you think he's in? Oh, I should think so. This is Jocasta Rathbone. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Poor man. How long has he been here? Oh, well, you know, he comes and goes. Me, Casa. It's Julio's Casa. Yes, that's right. I'm house sitting for our erstwhile practice manager, who's also very keen to help those less fortunate. And. When did you last eat? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Somewhere you can shout at me, punch me, spit at me. Spit? Something. Maybe I don't want to. You must do. What if I did? Well, I wouldn't blame you. Well, like I'm not supposed to blame you, you mean? Of course you are. I hate myself, Jim. God knows what you must think. So what happened? Just couldn't help yourself? I don't know. The depression. I must have fallen back on old patterns of behaviour. Sleeping with your best mate's wife. How self-destructive can you get? I don't know. I think I'm going to find out. Is it rather rich for a stomach unaccustomed? It's overdone. So how did all this happen? The pheasant? Becoming homeless. Oh, I'm not homeless. I live on the ring road. But that's not a home. It is. It's got a leaky roof, that's all. Poor I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me. Well, no, that goes without saying. But there must be something we could do to help. You could fix my camp. We could rehouse you. No, I don't want to be rehoused. But there must be something we could do. Apart from my camp fixing, a bit of lunch, a bit of company. Come to the charity gala, Tosca, with Patricia Emerson. In Leatherbrook? I know. Well, Tuesday fortnight, if I can get tickets. I'm not actually sure, Heston. Yes, but I was under the impression. If you'll excuse me. You were right. Big rich. It wasn't about you. It could have been anyone. Well, like the prostitute Tara's father caught you with. Sex has always been a way for me to escape my problems. You don't understand it's going to bring you more. Can't you just hit me? and get it over with. 
Will it make you feel better, not me? So what are you going to do? Okay. Well, whatever you do, do it to me. It's my fault. Okay? Not hers. I'm sorry. Delicious. So it's fine to have a charity gala. You just don't want any of the people you're trying to help there. They're different worlds. He's a very erudite man. Heston, he lives on the ring road. Well, he's fallen on hard times. He's opted out of society. Society has excluded him. Look, you were kind enough to offer me tickets, at least I thought you were, and I want to bring him with me to the gala. He won't upset anyone. Well, I'm sure he won't, but it's not the best way to help him. You, of all people, should know it's best left to the professionals. It's better for us to give them the money to do it. Well, I think we can do a bit more. Well, you'll start a cycle where he relies on you. What's wrong with that? Well, any problems and he'll turn up on your doorstep. I think you underestimate him. And the problems will be endless. I wouldn't want you to be taken advantage of. He is a very resourceful and... Look, why don't we ask him? Oh, Dr. Clay, do not forget you are due at the police station this afternoon. Uh, yeah, I know. She's going to catch up with some paperwork for a win. And Nurse Clay has gone home early. She's not feeling well. Really? Did she say what was wrong? She said she was feeling sick. It's, it's, it's Jerry. She, she looked really queasy this morning. No, 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 it doesn't. Oh, what's that? It's a bit of a holiday. Oh, Karen, that is lovely. Oh. Great. Would you just mind signing that for me, Howard? Does he come in a shorter length? I'm not sure. Um, he was in the sale. Thank you. I'll let uh, uh, Okay. I'll just give the old man the good news. Hello? Oh, he's gone. His things are... Perhaps it's for the best. For who? There are other ways to help. As long as it doesn't impinge on our way of life. I don't know why you're being so judgmental. Me? You didn't even know his name. You didn't even introduce us properly. You call him hello through the tent. The tickets are yours if you'd like them. As you say, there'll be no shortage of companions. No, thank you. Lovely to see you again. I think you're making a mistake. I thought you might like this. You are an angel. Uh, now, uh, did you get a chance to speak to Dr. Clay? You know, I can't for the life of me remember what I needed to see him about. Uh, isn't that always the way? Uh, now, uh, could you sign this, please? What? Stationery? Uh, yes. And the other one. Thank you. Enjoy. Jerry, what are you doing? Cleaning. Mrs. Tammy said you were ill. Yeah, well, I said that I felt sick and had to come home. What to clean? I didn't know what else to do. So you thought you'd take the easy option? What? Oh, a bit of cleaning and Jimmy would be OK. Well, what do you want me to do? Just talk to me. Just tell me if there's something wrong. That's what Eva would have done. Eva? Oh, she wouldn't have tried to just hide it all away. <laughs> it's made it worse. Hello? Hello? Who is that? It's me, Heston. Who? Dr. Carter, you stayed in my garden. Oh, is that what your name is? I've, uh, I've cleared it up. No, I, I get stressed. My OCD comes on. I get more stressed. Maybe take it out on me. 
I don't mean to, it's not your fault. It's this, um, patient at work. I should have had a go at him. Not you. There must be something that I can do. She was right. Lunch was too rich. Well, if you're not feeling well, you really shouldn't be sleeping outside. I haven't got that much choice, have I? Well, the council will provide something, surely. Well, they will. But as soon as they're gone, they'll tear this place down. Would that be a bad thing? An Englishman's home! Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, look, just until you're better, and to ensure consistent medical attention... Yes? Why don't you come and stay with me? In Julia's garden? Well, there'll have to be ground rules, and as you say, it's her home and not mine, but I'm sure if she were around, she would be happy for you to stay inside. I don't think she would. Well, I know her better than you do. Oh, you're just offering because it's her house and not yours. Are you going to come and stay or not? No, said meal times, waiting for the bathroom. Well, what do you expect? It's not a hotel. No, I don't know. I've got used to living on my own. So have I. So why do you want me to come and stay? Because I'm a doctor and this is bad for you. But this is my home. Not fit for human habitation. Of course it is. And the leaks? So what do you think? Oh, very nice. Yeah. I hope you have kept the receipt. I've just found these holiday forms. Two. I have no idea when I signed yours, and I appear to have signed one for you as well. Since we've given you both leave for next week. What do you suggest we do? Well, I've already got something booked. Yeah, and so have I. We could pull straws? I do not gamble. Neither do I. <laughs> the timbers of Habarone do not back down. I'm from the black country, Bab, so bring it on. Howard, a word in your office. How's that? We won't know till we get rain. Well, can you see daylight? No. Could you before? Yes. Then maybe we should assume it's fixed. Oh, you can assume all you like till it rains. But it's better than it was. Good. May I get down now? A permission granted. What are we going to do with the tent in Julia's garden? Oh, that old thing. You can have it. To say thank you. It's dirty. I don't mind if you do. What about the opera? I'm not gay. You turned the tickets down? I did. Shame! I was looking forward to that! Oh. Oh. Valerie Pittman. Why not? Well, she's not available. Well, I haven't heard of her getting anything else. I've always thought she was a bit... A bit what? Strange. Call her. Yeah, if you think I must. Well, unless you want a mutiny on your hands. Oh, it's Howard. <clears throat> Jeffrey, it's Howard. I'll just shut the door in a bit of privacy while I talk to him. Howard! How lovely to hear from you. Valerie, how are you? Oh, good. Yeah, very well. Very well indeed. Couldn't be better. Busy? Frantic. Rushed off my feet. Got so many things going on. So many. Right. Oh, how about you? Sorry. How rude of me. No, not at all. It's why I'm calling, actually. Um, I'm the practice manager at the Mill Health Centre now. Oh, Howard. Thank you. It's just we need a receptionist from next week. We already have Dr. Reed here as a locum. Emma? Oh, how wonderful. That is good news. But if you're too busy. For what? For the poster's temporary receptionist. I see. Valerie? Valerie? I'll have to think about it. Well, do you want me to email the details over? Hello? Sorry, I, I was thinking, yes. Please do email them, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll call you back and let you know. 
Okay, I'll do that right now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. She'll do it. <sighs> oh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Wonderful, wonderful news. Of course, it does mean Mummy won't be here as much. Where are you? Jeffrey? Here. Kitty! Here! Kitty, kitty! kitty. Oh. Bad Jeffrey. She's not that strange. Really? Go on. Go and give them the good news. Fell off the handle like that. You were stressed. Yeah, well, we both are. You know. but it'll be fine. Once we know for sure that you're pregnant, it'll all be fine. Right, I uh, don't want to be late back, so. But then what? We tell everyone we tried using it, but oh dear, it went wrong. Am I some sort of baby making machine and put some data out pops a baby? Don't be stupid. It'll be your grandchild, Dad. For heaven's sake, how stupid can you get? <laughs>